Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. This is where guys really analyzing the trend analysis and what's happening here so you can not get freaked out about these short-term swings, right? And this is where like, I know some of you guys on YouTube and you've been following me for a while and you know, some people are just like, oh my goodness, you know, can you talk about something new? The reason why this is so important, I go back to my rule number one, which is trend analysis, is because it keeps you in tune of what's really going on so you don't get freaked out by a one day move, right? Well, I know some, some some of you guys right now are doing that, right? And and the reason why you're doing it, because you're so sucked into one day and you're hoping that's gonna go up and you're gonna get these sideways days and so on and so forth. But to get a good understanding of whether you should still be long this market or not, right? I'm long gold right now. I am long the the Russell right now. But for me to make sure that I'm that I'm staying with that and not get not getting these short term little short term little swings in the markets that's gonna whip me out. And then two weeks later, if I just been patient with that and not get so emotionally drained, I'll be in a really nice profitable position. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there, right? But if I'm looking at the Russell right now, as the silver right now. You can clearly see easily, easily clearly see we had a low, a high, a low, a high, and now we had a high, low. So we were in a bit of a short-term downward trend through here, all through here, when it comes to the silver chart. But now we're starting to pick back up. And look at this, this that's all that's happening right now. We're, not, we're nowhere near, even, we were in a downward trend, short-term trend. We're nowhere near this thing even getting, having a really big drop right now. So we don't have to worry about like again, the, the big picture, this is that short term picture, right? Let alone the big picture. The big picture is what? The weekly chart. This is the weekly chart here. The weekly chart looks amazing, right? And this is where like stepping back from the forest from the trees. Again, if you're focusing so much on <gasps> John today, it's a candlestick reversal, reversal thingamajiggy. You're missing the forest from the trees. You're missing the big picture. Big picture is the thing isn't it? that's gonna help us like, okay. This is because you're going to get a lot of volatility, right? You're going to get ups and downs and bars and swings and so on and so forth. But to make sure you can capitalize on good moves and make sure you don't get whipped out too quickly, um, you just need to cap. You just need to be patient with and just let things go. And by utilizing, you utilizing that. There you go. By utilizing that. So by me bringing it back to the weekly chart, every single one of these bars is a weekly bar. And by understanding with what I said to you, what I've said to you today, which is what. I have said to you that when the market goes sideways and we break out and we start to do that and we start to do that, we are getting ready for one really big move. Um, look at this. All that through there. So once silver starts to break above 32, get ready for a rocket ship to happen. A rocket ship is about to happen. There you go. Maybe that's the title of this YouTube video. Rocket ship is about to happen. Rocket ship. Right? Look at it. It's just... It is so glaringly obvious, well, to me, and I'm hoping for you guys, because I'm just sharing this stuff with you for free on YouTube, right? It's so glaringly obvious to see what is going on right now with these markets, right? But if you're so ingrained because your training has been, oh, but John, the stochastics and the RSI and the, and the indicators and the candlestick reversal thingy me jiggy, it's like you are missing the forest from the trees. Look at the big picture where we're coming from. Because I'm telling you right now, the big picture, this big massive weekly chart. Once now, the bit, the thing about the weekly charts, it takes time for it to unfold, right? Every single one of these bars is a weekly bar. This here is a good couple of months. Bam, bam. This right here is a good couple of months of time. Look at the volatility in there, but look at what it's been building and the moving averages coming up through there, right? Should I do that different color? Let's do that green, right? Yeah, there we, there we go. There she is, right? Right through there. Look at that. And then we've had all nothing going on through here. It's just like, this is starting to build into something massive, massive, massive. And when this thing starts to, right? We When this thing starts to build strength and we're starting to slowly build this strength right now underneath the surface. There's so much strength that this is like a rocket ship. And I'm telling you right now, silver, gold, the you know russell king russell get ready for an incredible three to six months after this after this little short-term shake and bake i call it shake and shake and bake because it's probably going to be a little short-term moves that's happening because of 
I mean, what the Fed did today with the 50 basis points cut, and oh my goodness, what's that mean? And right, let the short term swings do the short term swings. But you watch a month from now, come back December right now and see where silver is. Come back in December this year and look back and see where see where the Russell is. Because I'm telling you right now, ha, huh. right now. Obviously, I'm not telling you to go along this markets. I don't know definitely what's going to happen. I could be wrong what you're seeing right now, okay? I could be wrong, right? So don't be don't be a moron and just go, oh my goodness, this guy on YouTube, he said this thing's gonna happen. I'm going all in, I'm loading up, and I'm putting on leverage. I'm gonna go margin. No, don't be a moron, right? I'm in these markets. I'm in gold right now, right? I'm in the I'm actually I'm I've actually got an investment portfolio where I've Anyway, that's a different story. But short-term stuff, over like say three to six months, you know, yes, I'm in gold. Yes, I'm part of the Russell, right? But guess what? That's only a small percent of my porf- my actual trading account. My actual trading account is if I'm wrong and I get stopped out and I have a loss on these positions, I've got good risk management, right? So don't be a moron. I'm going to load up 100%. I've got a $20,000 trading account. I'm going to put it all in on black on gold because this guy on YouTube, no, you're a moron. Don't, right? Be smart because there's no guarantees. I need to say that. I need to say that, right? Because some of you monkeys, you put on all this money on one trade trying to make all this money really, really quickly and then suddenly a month, you know, two weeks later, 50% of your account's gone and 67% of your account's gone. It's like, because you're loaded up on, trust me, like I, 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 I talk to people all the time. I spoke to someone recently. I, I, I spoke to someone a few a, a few weeks ago about my coaching, and he f- literally at the start of 2020, because he's trying to get rich really quickly, he's trying to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. In 2020, he had a five hundred thousand dollar trading account. Today, as we speak, as I'm doing this recording right now, it's five thousand dollars, four hundred and ninety five thousand dollar loss while we've been in one of the biggest bull markets of history. Why? Because he was doing these really risky strategies, right? Like loading up like on a eighty to a hundred thousand dollar one day option buy out of the money. And when he didn't get it right, he was down fifty to eighty percent out of the money, one day options, crazy stuff like that, right? So be smart, right? Be smart about the way that you're doing things in the markets from there. So that's what I'm seeing there from the good old silver market from here. 